in that last bit, I, I have this picture, um, and it's, it's mostly Steve and Lindsay and Ada's fault, actually. Um, I have this picture because they posted recently a um, video of Ada taking some of her uh, earliest steps towards each other, and it was beautiful, and I'm picturing this baby, uh, Ada particularly in this moment, toddling towards her parents and them saying, you know, come on, you can do it, you can do it, right? You're almost home. You're almost home. This song is, is written at least partly with the pandemic as a background metaphor for it in a way, right? This, you're, you're not on lockdown anymore. And, and if we think of our sin as a disease, it's not a perfect metaphor at all. But if we think of our sin as a disease, and if we remember that God is a holy fire, God has immunity from our sin, but his immunity from our sin is so powerful that it's almost like, uh, almost like a vaccine radiating from God, except that we are so steeped in sin that would we, we would be utterly consumed by the fire of God's vaccine if it were not for Jesus. Before Jesus, we could not approach the throne. We could not come before the Lord our God without being utterly undone by His holiness and righteousness. But because of Jesus, that barrier between us that was really there for our own protection to save us from being destroyed by the holiness of God. That veil has been torn into. We have been cleansed by Jesus. And God's immune response does not destroy us because we are no longer sick in his sight. It's not a perfect metaphor, but it applies. And so, brothers and sisters, let us come to God in our time of confession and share with him openly and without fear our sin, that he may continue his cleansing work in us. Let us pray. Father in heaven, Lord, you know what is in our hearts. You know what deeds we have done. You know what thoughts we have had. You know what words we have spoken. We know, O oh God, that nothing is hidden from you. And yet, in our fear, and in our, in our sin, and in our brokenness, we try to hide from you. Lord, please forgive us for, like Adam and Eve, hiding in the garden. And Lord, as we take a moment of silent prayer, please hear our confessions to you, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God, for hearing our confession. 
Lord, thank you as well for your forgiveness. For you are good and gracious God. And you have sent your Son so that we may come near without fear. Thank you that we are almost home. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our words of assurance this morning come from Psalm 32, verses 1 to 7. Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one whose sin the Lord does not count against them, and in whose spirit is no deceit. When I kept silence, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy on me. My strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. And you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let all the faithful pray to you while you may be found. Surely the rising of the mighty waters will not reach them. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Amen. Let us worship together with a song of deliverance. Amazing grace, my chains are gone. 